What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. Today I went to go over a weapon that one of my clan members Curious was using and I forgot how fun it was so I put it together a build just from a couple of ideas he sent me but from a couple of ideas of my own as well. Uh, it's so much fun. I put a full run of a mission at the end. It certainly isn't the fastest way to clear anything but it's a little bit different and you might pull out this gun from your stash and think Do you know what Let's have a little bit of fun with this but just before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when i upload more division videos even better come on over to twitch and hit follow i could be streaming live right now and if you need any help with the division be sure to check out my discord link down below so well the gun i am talking about is the merciless and for this build you're going to be want to be running demo Obviously for that you need to put rifle damage on, but as well in here, if we find it, we get 10% uh, increased explosive damage. So we're going to play to this gun a little bit, and we're going to bump in some explosive damage and some weapon damage at the same time. Let's go over to the shooting range so you can have a look at it. By all means take none of these numbers by uh, by gospel. But you can just watch the gameplay at the end, see if you like it, and see if it's worth putting together. So, we'll pump this up a little bit as well. And we're just going to shoot, and it's absolutely steady. Then we get the lovely explosion with all the damage as well. Unfortunately, they do have to be fairly close. That's one downfall. I think if they're going to... I think it does need a, a bit of a pass, this gun. It's extremely bouncy in its initial form and because of that I think a lot of people are turned off it but if they made the explosion radius a little bit better it would kind of be worth taking all the downsides to it as you can see with the build you know nearly 700k crits in there really easy to shoot and it's just a lot of fun to use right okay so let's kill this and then let's get on with the the build just so you can see see the one at the side of the gun that's so you know how many stacks you've got you can see him build up the two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next one. Boom. There we go. That's just how you know when your charges are ready to explode. So, let's take a look at the gun itself. Here is the Merciless. Uh, mine is maxed out. It comes with rifle damage, crit damage, and crit chance. And then it comes with binary trigger. This weapon fires on trigger pull and release. If both bullets hit the same enemy, gain a stack. And that's why sometimes it's better just aiming for the body. Just go for the body shot. At seven stacks, shoot enemy, uh, shooting enemy deals 500% amplified damage and creates a seven meter explosion, uh, dealing 500% weapon damage. That should be 10, 15, you know, for everything else you've got to put up with, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Uh, it comes with accuracy, reload speed, weapon handling, and stability on the gun itself. And this is the build that I put together. I've got the old Carol from the seasonal event. If you've not checked out my video about this, do go and check it out it is really funny watch this now we get some fireworks really very nice got to be a headshot though you can't uh, shoot in the body and you don't get the uh, you don't get the the fireworks but as you can see boom really a lot of fun so do go and check my video out on that now let's get back to the build so first of all we've gone with some china light because it's got some explosive damage weapon damage i needed to re-roll the core attribute because it comes as yellow I'm yet to min-max this. I wanted to see if the build was any good first. But crit chance, headshot damage, and crit chance. Obviously, I'm just going to roll this headshot damage to uh, crit hit damage, and then I'm going to max out the critical hit chance. Chest piece. This is one I use all the time for everything because I can change the talent on it. So a group or one of two because two piece gives us explosive damage. So we get crit hit damage and then explosive damage, 15% of both. Weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and then crit hit chance. Embraced while in cover, weapon handling is increased by 45%, which is what makes the gun manageable. It's completely unmanageable without that. Second piece of Grupo, I've gone with some survivability because we're going to be using a backpack that helps with that as well. The two piece Grupo I talked about before, crit hit chance and crit hit damage. With all builds, uh, put as many blue cores in as you like. I've gone for three in this. Put as many in as you like. And then obviously just build towards your crit chance being max at 60% and then crit hit damage on after that. We've gone with the Picaro's holster, armor, 
crit hit chance, weapon damage, really nice. And then we're going with foxes, obviously, because we get 10% rifle damage, weapon damage, 8% damage target cover, and some critical hit chance. We're then going to be using the memento because it gives us three main cores. And also it gives us basically weapon damage and bonus armor and skill efficiency as well, as long as you're collecting the tokens with the attribute of critical hit damage. Plays into the build absolutely perfect. Skills wise, definitely use the revive hive. You can use whatever you want here. The shield's redundant. It's more of a you know get out of jail free card if I need it. You could probably use the drone uh, because you if you wanted to, that'll be a nice or you could use a decoy. Whatever you want. You've got a skill tier, you might as well take advantage of it. So when we take a look at the stats, you can see I have got 58% crit chance. I'm a few percent off, as you can see, rolls-wise. And then I could probably be about 130% critical hit damage when I max out them rolls. My, my mods, uh, as you probably saw throughout, crit chance in this one, crit chance in this one, and you know, crit damage in that one. So just pay attention to that. You don't have to have the rolls, all the, the brands in the same place as me at all. Pay attention to where you've got them, get 60% crit chance, and then get to as much crit damage as you possibly can after that. Two-piece group for the explosive damage and the china, definitely. It kind of means you've got to swap between these three, uh, because the Brazos, if you're going to use that, needs to be here, and the Foxes need to be there. So them three can swap around. So that's going to be it for the video. It's a hell of a lot of fun. It's super, super stable. Like It shoots really stable, very little pull down needed. You know, once you're in cover, it's absolutely crazy you know you can, you can shoot distance and they are literally in the video in the gameplay you'll see at some point even if they've got a pinky showing you can shoot it with the the amount of accuracy brace gives you the bounce you can see is quite a bit more it, it's almost uncontrollable you you've got to go for body shots if you're out of out of cover for you to have any chance of uh of hitting both in the same but like a laser beam when you add braced into the equation and that's basically what makes it usable. And then we just stack as much damage in as we possibly can. You know, all the way down there, no problem whatsoever. But that's going to be it for the video. Be sure to come on over to Twitch and say hi. I could be streaming live right now. Don't forget to hit subscribe here on the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you like the Myrtleus or not. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, agents. Goodbye. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sons forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. This is our deploying us for Science critical. Give up, ass. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate.
Immediate medical assistance needed. All clear. I repeat, the compound is all clear. Now that can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. Agent requesting backup. Since I've turned the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into.
careful with those rounds. You want to kill everybody in here? You hear that? Fuck this noise. I'm not dying to help with the devil count. DC-62, detected. Heads up. Isaac just ID'd those shells as chemical weapons. Can't afford to let the True Sons escape with those. You've got to find a way to close up that tunnel. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think closing the tunnel is smart? Fuck you! You flood yourself in with us! I'll make sure you rot down here!
good work. Go on and head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. Incoming backup request. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the true sun.